horse and you talk, huh? Yes, but not to you. Mr. Ed. Hold it. I think you're going to like this picture. Love That Bob. Starring Bob Cummings. Okay, look, you, you can tell me about the masquerade party later. W will you get that costume back here before the boss knows that it's gone? Uh, oh, sure. Uh, uh, wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> where, where is the, the Spanish costume? Where's the Spanish costume? Th that was in the dressing room. It was in the dressing room? It was hanging in there yesterday. It was hanging in there yesterday? <laughs> it, it, it's gone today. It's gone today? <laughs> what are you, a secretary or a parrot? Well, boss, what about the Spanish costume? You never have found a model that you wanted to use for the Mexican poster. I most assuredly have. You remember Rosita Ballestero? Oh, boss, she, not the Tijuana wild. She's cat. got the most terrific figure I've ever seen. She's also got the most terrific temper. Look, Do you remember what happened when she caught you dancing with Shirley Swanson? Well, why is it that you... Oh, yeah. What'd she hit you with, anyway? I don't know. I think it was Shirley Swanson. <laughs> Started up with that bombshell Look, don't again. worry, Schultz. It's all right. I, I dance with smaller girls now. Besides, it's either Rosita or I lose the account. She's the only one that's right for it. I'll admit she's beautiful. She's got a figure like Venus. She's sensational. But I'm warning you, she won't pose unless you romance her. Schultz, for the sake of my art, no sacrifice is too great. <laughs> but where is the, the Spanish costume? Where's the Spanish costume? Now cut that out! She's a... What? <laughs> Who was that? Cleaners. What? Cheese at Cleaners. <laughs> I just remembered. That's, that's what happened to the Spanish costume. <laughs> the, the, the cheese. <laughs> o -o Overnight service? Or yeah, new company. Very fast. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, don't use them again. There are wrinkles all over this dress. <laughs> I want to use it today, too. Boy, that was close. <laughs> yeah, but it was worth it, Chelsea. Huh? Guess who I met at the masquerade party and he wants to date me. Who? You've seen him on television. Well, who? Harry Von Zell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Martha, congratulations. Oh, boy, he's quite a catch. Well, I haven't quite landed him yet, but that's where you can help me. Yeah. Now, look, when he calls here and asks for me, you tell him I can have dinner with him. Wait, 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 why, why would he call you here? He thinks I'm one of your boss's models. Where'd you get that idea? Probably from me telling him. <laughs> but you told Harry Von Zell you were one of the yeah, bosses. Schultz, listen. Is there anything wrong? Yeah, oh, yeah, hi, Martha. Hi, boss. Uh, Mr. Collins. Schultz, <laughs> the, the cleaners left cheap perfume in this costume. What do you mean, cheap? I... <laughs> So you're the cheese at cleaners. <laughs> well, cheese it! <laughs> okay, I'm leaving. I, I just stuck my head in the door. Well, I wonder what happened to it. <laughs> why, do you, oh, yeah. why, why did you tell Harry Von Zell you were a model? Get the picture. I'm in this beautiful Spanish costume with the mantilla, the mask, and the veil. Yeah. The lights are low. The champagne is flowing. The music is playing. We're dancing. And he says to me, what do you do when you're not a gay senorita? Yeah. <laughs> At a time like that, I'm going to tell him the truth, that I work for a plumber. Well, it's a company that makes plumbing supplies. I mean, you work for the big boss. Sure. Oh, yeah. I'm private secretary to the plunger king. <laughs> the thing about being one of the boss's models. Well, I thought maybe you could use me, you know. When we see the... Don't you ever spend any time where you work? Well, things were a little slow at our place this morning, and I thought you might have a little need of my services. Well, no thanks. My sink is not stopped up. Well, I thought you might be looking for a new model. See, I've been told I had what it takes. Yeah, well, it's a pity you didn't drop by before they took it. <laughs> the only model I'm looking for is a beautiful Spanish girl, and when I find her, I'd like to be alone with her, if you don't mind. All right. <laughs> Drano. Ow. 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 
stay out. <laughs> Josie, for heaven's sake. Someday I'm going to have her barred. From the building? No, in a cage. <laughs> well, Martha's a good kid. Now, she only came in here because she needs help. Oh, boy, does she need help. Help her earning a fella. She wants to get married. Oh, brother, I wish she would. <laughs> of course, it'd be just my luck that her husband let her go on working. In fact, he'd probably insist on it. <laughs> now, you get out and stay out, you stupid... <laughs> 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 No, 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 look, look, Rosita, please, I, 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 see, I, I thought you were a girl who works for a plumbing company. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't mean, I didn't mean that you, you, you're the, look, Rosita, please, no, no, don't go again. There's no make boots there, Susan, there's no make boots there. No, listen, no, 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 you're not going to hit him with me. No, don't hit him. <laughs> Oppenheimer's Great Clearaway Sale is on now. Save up to 50% and more on our entire inventory, including new spring arrivals. This is Gene Peterson reminding you that Oppenheimer is becoming Eagle. To make room for thousands of suits pouring into our stores before we become Eagle, we've slashed prices on every suit, sport coat, and slacks in our entire inventory. Hurry into our Super Clearaway, and remember, we're changing our name to Eagle. If you want to pay more, that's your business. If you want to pay less, that's our business. In an emergency, you need to get help fast. And you need to know we can handle it all. At Charter Suburban Hospital in Mesquite, you'll find qualified personnel, well-equipped facilities, and most important, fast emergency care, whatever the emergency. Here at Charter Suburban's emergency room, highly trained, caring professionals team up with the finest equipment to bring you the fast emergency care you deserve. Charter Suburban Hospital in Mesquite. Emergency care when you need it. Fast. The governor can't come flat out and give you amnesty now. First, you got to prove you deserve it. Mom, are you saying that all we have to do is stay out of trouble till the governor figures that we deserve amnesty? And in the meantime, we'll still be wanted? That's true. Till then, only you, me, and the governor will know about it. It'll be our secret. <laughs> That's a good deal. Elias Smith and Jones, every Sunday afternoon at 5 on The Source, TV 39. Forgive me. I, I thought that you were Martha Randolph. Oh, who is she? She your favorite new model? Yeah. Oh, model. She couldn't model a barrel. Oh, and you thought I was that girl? Yes. Uh, so I couldn't model a barrel. No, 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 honey. <laughs> I knew it. Here comes trouble. Yes. Uh, Mr. Bonzel, uh, well, uh, Martha said you'd telephone. Oh, well, I, I sort of wanted to see what she looked like without the mask and the veil. Oh, uh, well, uh, I'm afraid you can't see her now. Oh, she's posing. She said she was a model. Yeah, that's just what she's doing, posing as a model. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm Charmaine Schultz, Mr. Collins' assistant. Oh, how do you do? Uh, Martha's given me permission to make a date with you for tonight. Well, that's very nice, and I'd love to sometime, but... Oh, you mean make a date for her with... Oh, oh, that would be very nice. How about dinner and dancing? Tonight? Fine. I was wondering, could I just take a little peek? The boss would be furious. Now, you just stay right here, and I'll go arrange the details with Martha. Well, aren't you going the wrong way? Oh, uh, you see, that door must never be open while the lights are on. It might spoil the picture. So I'll go down the hall around the back way. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> That's it. Now smile, you gorgeous creature. Good. Hold it. Fine. Thank you very much. Oh, Martha, you are a doll. <laughs> Really, that was sensational. Now, just a... Bertito, there's somebody peeking through that little window from your office. Oh, yeah, that'll be Schultzy. Okay, you change into your Spanish costume, and I'll take care of her, hmm? Hello. 
know that. <laughs> Wait a minute. You wouldn't be uh, uh, Harry Von Zell, would you? I wouldn't be if I could get out of it right now. <laughs> Uh, you're wondering what I was doing. No, 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 I know what you're doing. <laughs> this happens frequently. Fellas sneak in here to get a look at the models. No, I'm not one of those. I came up here to make a date with brown eyes. Listen. <laughs> brown eyes. Oh, Martha Randall. Martha Randall? Yes. Yeah. Are you serious? Oh, yes, sir. I assure you my intentions are perfectly honorable. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. Mind? Okay, I'll forget the whole thing. Oh, no, Go no, 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 you know. She's your girl, I certainly... No, 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 she's not my girl. She's, she's your girl. <laughs> <laughs> Say, now, that's awfully decent of you. <laughs> Frankly, I don't know what she'd see in me. I mean, I, next to you, I certainly don't look like very much. Oh, oh you're a very handsome fellow. Oh, oh sure, yeah, you'd, you'd have to be to be on television. I've, I've seen you with George Burns. Oh, well, next to him, I guess I don't look so bad. <laughs> Anybody. And you're going to look exceptionally good next to, to Martha Randolph. I know that. <laughs> she is beautiful, and what a figure. Oh. <laughs> Tell me something. The, the, the lights in television, they, they get real hot, don't they? Oh, they're, they're murdered. Mm. Oh, yes. And they're rough on your eyes? Actually, they, you know, you can't really see clearly for about two days after you work. No. Hmm? How long since you worked? Yesterday. We gotta move fast. Mm -hmm. I mean, Martha Randolph is the type of girl that's gotta be swept off her feet, but but suddenly, you see, uh -huh. I'll I'll go get her. Oh, well, Miss Schultz went to speak to her. She did. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll give this my personal attention, oh. nonetheless. Thank you. <laughs> oh, uh, Harry, excuse me. You you aren't the kind of fellow who'd let his wife keep a job after the wedding, are you? <laughs> oh no, no. I firmly believe that a woman's place is in the home. In the home. In the home. Bless you. <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> Well, that's a funny thing. Even he won't open that door when the lights are on. Go off. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm gone. I, I was looking for Martha. Oh, did you find her? No. Uh, uh, Von Zell's waiting. You check the coffee shop and I'll cover the rest of this floor. We can't let a pigeon like this get away, Schultze. <laughs> Hello, brown eyes. Hello. Um, uh, what are Senor Collins? Oh. He went around the back way to get you for me. <laughs> I'm taking you to dinner tonight. You? Yes. Oh. oh, no, 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 no. I have a date with Mr. Collins. Oh, no, no. He, he called that off and turned you over to me. <laughs> turned me over to you? Yes. You mean he traded me like a sack of flour? No, no, it wasn't a trade. I got you for nothing. <laughs> no, I don't understand. Well, the way he explained it is that he, he was mad about you, but he's got over it, and he's given me the green light to go ahead and court you. No lo comprendo. Yeah. No lo comprendo. Esta es una cosa tan fantástica. Es imposible. Es imposible. Oh, heck. I'm just as happy about it as you are. <laughs> Yeah, well, let me put on a new face. So he likes the one you've got. Uh, but he hasn't seen it without a mask and veil. What? Well, you see, we met at a masquerade party. He's only seen my eyes. Oh, well, don't worry. I've got him so primed that the rest of you can go along for the ride. <laughs> well, here she is. <laughs> Isn't she a doll? Oh, she certainly <laughs> is. She's a doll, you are a dog, and he is my new sweetheart. <laughs> what is this? Break this up. Ay, mi amor, kiss me again. Okay, Martha. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Th th that's not Martha. This is Martha. Yeah, I'm Martha. She's Martha. <laughs> Who is this? She's Rosita. That's close enough. <laughs> Harry. Hey, Martha, congratulations. Thanks. L look, Harry. <laughs> look, us, he's kissing the wrong girl. Harry, if you... No! <laughs> no!
Cheer up, Martha. Everything's all set. You're going to have dinner with Harry Bonzel at my house tonight. <laughs> oh, Mr. Collins. Oh, oh, you're wonderful. Oh, oh thank you. Oh. Oh. I'm Cy Sperling, president of the Hair Club for Men. And these are just a few of the men who called our toll-free number for our booklet about thinning hair. This is the booklet that tells you what you need to know about every hair replacement method available. It discusses everything from toupees and wigs to transplants and weaves, and it even has a section on the realities and misconceptions of minoxidil. Just call our toll-free number now, and I'll send you our new updated edition, which includes a whole new series of before and after photos like these. These men are actual clients and not models. They're men like you who discovered that you don't need drugs or chemicals, surgery or miracles to have a full head of hair. To get all the facts free and without obligation, just call our toll-free number now and I'll send you the new booklet. And remember, I'm not only the hair club president, but I'm also a client. With Karen's flowers, you can turn time into memories. Dallas has trusted Karen's for generations. Call Karen's. We still believe in love. Bridget, would you please? Uh -huh. <laughs> All this champagne for just two people? Yeah, no, no, this is to help Harry Von Zell propose, and this is to help everybody celebrate when he does. <laughs> How about this one? Yeah, that's for me in case he doesn't. <laughs> where, where is it, Mr. Morgan? Oh, Sophie took Tammy to an early movie, and uh, Martha's in the living room. Le oh, yeah, how, how does she look? Well, she dug a dress out of her show business trunk, and <laughs> she insists on wearing it tonight. Margaret, I, I get the feeling that... Is, is there something wrong? Take a look. Oh, yeah. I can just get a hole here for a minute. <laughs> uh, this is, is, is left over from your show business days, is it? Yeah, I used this on the nightclub floor. <laughs> did, what did you do with the handle after you made it into a dress? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah, there's yeah. a little handy young man in everybody, isn't there? <laughs> All I have to do is start it and it goes by itself. <laughs> Your approach has got to be very domestic. Domestic? You're going to get rid of about three or four layers of makeup and about six pounds of this jewelry. Oh, Margaret, do you have a nice demure dress and a sort of a frilly organdy apron that Martha can wear? Sure. Get her fixed up right All away. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Martha, can you cook? Can I cook? Good idea, Bob. The way to a man's heart through his stomach. Strange, with Harry Von Zell, you'd think there'd be a shorter way. Oh, Mr. Collins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How can I ever thank you? No, no, please, not, not that way again. No, I'll, I'll think of something. <laughs> well, how do you like it? Martha, it's a hundred percent improvement. Yeah. Now look. Oh, this is Mr. Van Zell. Now wait. You, you make your entrance from the kitchen, lovely and domestic. You understand? Right. And Margaret. Mark. Oh, lovely and domestic, dainty, demure, you know, feminine. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> yes. no. No, no. I'll, I'll warm the hors d'oeuvres. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Buenas tardes, amigo. Yes, yes, very, very tardes. Well, why, why is this better outfit, Harry? Hey? Rosita likes it. Don't you like it, darling? I adore it, my handsome caballero. 
<laughs> Isn't that something? <laughs> yes, yes, it is. I, I won't say what, but yeah, yeah. come in and then sit down. Well, well, thank you, Harry. You yeah. know, Rosita was delighted when I told her about your invitation for dinner. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> See, you've never invited me to your house before. See, and I didn't invite you this time. Why don't you leave Harry Bonzel alone? He's a very nice fellow. But you are not. And before I am through, you are going to eat crow. Ah, <laughs> uh, come to my arms, my beautiful brown-eyed dove. Here I come, Harry. <laughs> the board of beatnik. I didn't know she was coming. Well, neither did I. Well, listen, let me give her one good shot to the Mark, chops. Mark, Mark, Mark. <laughs> now listen to me. You must be very, very subtle. Your whole approach must... Look, for instance, your weapon will be food. Swell, I'll belt it with the story of all terms. Mark, you <laughs> What I mean is, you're going to show Harry Von Zell how you can cook. You want me to take these hors d'oeuvres in Ma now? Oh, yeah, please, Martha, do, yes. Martha, Martha, what, what, what is your specialty? Huh? What, what do you like to do best? What they're doing in there. <laughs> what, what do you cook best? Oh, uh, pizza. Pizza? No kidding. Mm -hmm. All right, get started on the pizza. And, and while you cook in here, I'll see that nothing cooks in there. <laughs> Lovely, thank you. Sir. Well, I see you've met my charming sister. <laughs> oh, indeed, we have. And Bob, she makes the most marvelous hors d'oeuvre. Well, Doesn't she? Harry. Oh, that then you appreciate a girl who, who can cook, huh? Oh, I'll say. <laughs> oh, you know, Rosita, that reminds me of the time you invited me to your house and you tried to make pizza. <laughs> well, what happened to that? I did not make pizza. No, no, you certainly did not. I don't know what it was, but it wasn't pizza. Boy, what a mess. <laughs> oh, now. <laughs> you mustn't worry. You tried your very best. It just so happens you're one of those girls that can't make pizza. <laughs> Man, that's sort of too bad, uh, because I love pizza. Oh, but, but, but I, I feel... Uh, uh. <laughs> well, that's interesting, Harry, because it just so happens that right now, Martha is making some pizza for us in the kitchen. Oh, swell. Maybe I should offer to help. I, oh, Margaret, help Martha cook? That would be like offering to help Rembrandt paint. <laughs> no, is she that good? Good. I want oh, you to... Oh, my baby, dear Hedy. Come on, my baby, we will dance. Dance? Huh? See, see, my dear. <laughs> oh, Rosita, excuse me. Harry, do, do you actually play the, the bull ukulele? Well, Bob, just enough to accompany myself on... What? You, you mean to tell me you sing? Well, well let, let's no. hear you, please, please. Well, I I we will me. dance. Uh, please, <laughs> my brave Torero, I want your big, strong arms around oh, me. Oh, Harry, look, ju just a few bars while we're waiting for the record player to, to, to warm up. Go ahead. Well, <laughs> well, if it has to warm up, do you, do you mind, my dove? No, 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 Something of course not. Something in Spanish not. for you. <laughs> oh, Margaret, Mr. Bodzell's going to sing for us, please. Uh, Excuse me, Rosita. Uh, 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 well, now, I'm not really a singer, you know. Oh, I'll well, bet well, you're well. just great. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Mahalo que abandono su primo nido. Si no te sabes nada de este stupid thing. Si lindo lindo me gusta. I think he sings beautifully. Su primo nido. You mean to tell me you'd rather listen to can music to this magnificent voice? Well, here's a chance to be the new sensation that there's a Spanish Elvis Presley. This man. Do you really think I'm that good? Why do you? Good. Oh, man, you, you, you're, you're terrific. Go, man, go! Oh, how's the pizza coming, huh? Well, I think this one's cool enough to eat. Ooh. Want to try some? Mmm, wow. Yeah, I love it. Thank you. Oh, that smells good. Thank you. Thank you, Martha. Ooh, see, when Harry comes... When... Bear down a little. Yeah. So Harry... Let's see. It must be a defective knife. I'll get you another one, too.
Star? Yeah. Is, is this what you cook best? Oh, yeah. I learned to make pizza when I was a kid. Who taught you, Harvey Firestone? <laughs> Martha, we can't serve this to Harry Bunzel. Well, what do I do with it? Well, I tell you, if it'll go around you, it'll I'm make I'm already it... wearing one. Another idea. This is not going to work. I'll tell you. Wow, I smell pizza. How about a sample? Harry, it'll spoil your appetite. Oh, no, it yeah. Harry, no. believe me, it will. <laughs> Just to smell it drives me crazy. Wait till you try to eat it. <laughs> Harry, Harry, haven't you heard? I'm taking everybody out for dinner. What? Yeah, yeah we're going to have Spanish food. We all decided. Yeah, yeah, come yeah, on, get yeah, your yeah, get yeah. Come on, Harry. Come on, Harry. Come Harry. That's the boy. That's the boy. That's the boy. <laughs> <laughs> Where is my hombre gordo? What is he doing, eating again? <laughs> All he wants to do is sing or eat. Well, be like, honey, he's right behind the... Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't help it. Have you got any more of these? More? Yeah, I can make all you want. Oh. Say, Bob, would you mind taking Rosita out for some Spanish food? This girl cooks up a storm. Where did you learn to make pizza like this? Harvey Firestone. <laughs> Attention, accident victims. The insurance industry's own secret studies prove accident victims who have lawyers collect far more cash and benefits than victims who handle their own cases. So hurry, call Adler and O'Connor, 320-1111, 320-1111. Adler and O'Connor have collected millions of dollars for thousands of accident victims, and we'll collect all the cash and benefits you have coming. Remember, handling your own claim could cost you a fortune. Call Adler and O'Connor, 320-1111. We're talking price here at Newman Chevrolet. You can buy a brand new 89 Silverado pickup with tilt wheel, cruise control, air conditioning, and automatic transmission for only $11,988. Yes, this new Silverado pickup with automatic transmission for only $11,988. Or this sporty 89 S10 pickup for just $67,88. That's just $129 per month. Come see why after 64 years, everyone is saying Newman Chevrolet, easy to find, impossible to beat. That's Newman Chevrolet just north of the Hypermart on Garland Road. Sunday at 4 on Gunsmoke. You cut yourself up a big slice of trouble, Marshal, but I'm going to cram it right down your throat. <laughs> That's Gunsmoke, Sunday at 4 on The Source, TV 39. Played by Elena Verdugo, Martha Randolph by Rose Marie, and Harry Bonzel played himself. Furs by Furmans of Beverly Hill. This is Bill Baldwin speaking. I think you're going to like this picture. Love That Bob. Star. Oh. And then, and then we drive up and stop. Turns off the light. And at last, after five dates, there I am, parked on Mulholland with Harry Von Zell. <laughs> There's a full moon. The radio is playing soft, romantic music. He puts his arm around me and holds me close. I look up at him and say, if you want to, Harry, you can kiss me. <laughs> He looks down at me and says... Oh, no, not again. <laughs> Every morning...
having the same press conference. Martha reviews the news. What? What? what is, yes. Martha had another date with Harry Von Zell last night. Yeah, it was I, my I, fifth I, night running. Well, tonight, let him catch you. <laughs> Girl, Girl, wait a minute. Did I tell you that this is the wonderful man who's responsible for my romance? You told him. You told him. Okay, okay girls, let's hear it for the greatest boss in the building. Yeah, I'll tell you that now. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Time. Well, Come I on, couldn't man. ask for any bigger. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, break it up. Would you please? I'm so I have Martha a... hasn't finished telling us what happened last night. I don't care if. <laughs> you mean that something finally happened? <laughs> Did Harry Von Zell propose? Well, I, I was just coming to that. Yeah. You want me to start from the beginning for you? No. For he... Get to the point. Did he, did he propose? Not while we were parked there, no. I, I... But he hadn't ridden ten feet until he stopped the car, yeah. turned to me and said, Martha. I can't go on without your help. I said, why, Harry, what do you mean? And he said, I've got a flat tire. <laughs> so we fixed it, he took me home, and that was the end of the evening. <laughs> and that's the end of this performance. All right, members of the Greek chorus, back to your own office. <laughs> Out. <laughs> Hurry. On the double! Quick! Now! Instead of fixing the tire yourself, why didn't you call the AAA? Well, he's not an alcoholic, he's just lazy. <laughs> Automobile Association. Martha, oh. you're included Mr. in this. Collins. Out. Mr. Collins, Out. Look, look, if you can keep my I... competition away from Harry for just one more night, I think I can get him to propose. No, no more dates with Rosita for me. Oh, boss, Rosita's I'm, I'm, beautiful. I'm yeah, sorry. she's that fiery Latin type you like. You hey, know. she's teaching I... the boss how to do that flamenco dancing. Yeah. That... Just watching me makes my arches ache. No, sir. No more dates with Rosita. Oh, Mr. No, sir. No, she's too demanding. If I don't flip over and flatter her every minute, then she's mad. Well, you can get her over that. Just drive her up to Mulholland. Yeah, between the flipping, flattering, and flamenco, and I'm too pooped to park. <laughs> more night of this. My radiant, ravishing Rosita. <laughs> ah, the sun pales into insignificance when you appear. The flowers hang their heads in shame. The birds hide their plumage. Because none can match the radiant, brilliant beauty of the incomparable Rosita. My love, my life, my everything. You do not like me this morning. <laughs> oh. I, I do not understand. Well, last night you said such pretty things, and we danced, and we... Come, my ballerina. This year, Time Magazine didn't pick a person of the year. It picked the planet of the year, our planet Earth. Hi, I'm Karen Hoyer, and on DFW Weekly, we'll talk about why our planet is on the endangered list. You can start by blaming it on our selfish ways and carelessness. We produce so many byproducts that we can't get rid of it all. When we produce toxic waste, we don't always use safe ways to get rid of it. We live for today and don't think about tomorrow. Watch Saturday or Sunday morning at 6. Glasses in about an hour? I thought, sure, as long as the lenses are simple. But I've got a tricky prescription. So I tried Lens Crafters. Lens Crafters crafts your quality glasses in about an hour by putting the whole lab right in the store so you can see better and work better in about an hour. Made me a pair of top quality no-line bifocals. And they did it in 51 minutes. No kidding. Lens Crafters, custom crafted eyeglasses in about an hour. Seven locations. Call 1-800-522-LENS for one near you. Sunday at 4 on Gunsmoke. You cut yourself up a big slice of trouble, Marshal, but I'm going to cram it right down your throat. That's Gunsmoke, Sunday at 4 on The Source, TV 39. Because nobody will carry me. <laughs> oh, did, uh, did Schultze brief you on the plan? Yeah, 
and I called Harry Von Zell, and he's on his way over. Oh, good. Now, look, when Martha gets here, you'll you, you be surprised, understand? I will, I will. Want some ice tea? Oh, yeah, please. I want lots of ice, Margaret. Lots right. of ice. Yeah. So, you know, Martha seems to think this plan's going to work. Yeah? She says all Harry needs to make him propose is one little shove. Well, I'll give him a shove that'll send him clean down the aisle. <laughs> Cream or lemon? Oh, uh, lemon, please. It's cooler. Look. Sugar? We, uh, just a little. Oh, and put in a lot of that mint, Margaret. It looks cool. That yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. There, there's Mr. Bondell. Now, look. Remember, yours is the first act, so, so make it very convincing, Margaret. I'll do my best. Don't you forget your cue, huh? All right, all right. Just right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Thank you. Would you like some iced tea, Mr. Von Zell? Mrs. McDonald, I would love it. It looks... Aren't we being awfully formal? <laughs> Why don't you just call me Harry? All right, I'm Margaret, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. What did you want to see me about, Margaret? About marriage. <laughs> well, now, I'll tell you, Mrs. McDonald. I, 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 I have... Not marriage for you. I meant marriage for Bob. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, naturally, I'll be happy to help any way that I can. Well, thank you, Harry. <laughs> of course, first I have to convince Bob he should get married. Stop running around with all those models. Well, certainly should be easy enough. Uh, just explain to him. Uh, well, point out to him the, the uh, advantages of... Put it on, on the basis... Of, uh, wh tell me something. Why should he get married? He has a ball. <laughs> sure, all you handsome young bachelors do. <laughs> handsome <laughs> young. Uh, yeah, well, that might apply to Bob. Margaret, but you could hardly call me young anymore. Oh, Harry. <laughs> well, you were talking about Bob. Go ahead. Uh, yes. Well, I just hope he remembers that midnight always comes before you expect it, and suddenly the ball is over. I, I don't... Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> well, he looks in the mirror one morning and notices that his hairline has started to recede. <laughs> Notice his little lines around his eyes. <laughs> Chin started to sag. <laughs> Chest is beginning to slip below the belt. <laughs> Sugar? Four teaspoons, please. Oh, you better make it two. <laughs> Just lemon. <laughs> we were talking... Oh, about Bob. Yes? Maybe you're right, Margaret. Maybe we should talk to him. Well, I'm expecting him home for lunch. Um, what time have you got? Hardly any. <laughs> well, yeah, what time is it now? Well, it's, it's a little after 12. <laughs> oh, Margaret, honey, I'm oh, home. In here, Bob. Oh, Margaret, honey, I just saw the most... Well, doggone it, Harry Von Zell. You old Howard, son of a gun. Nice to see you. Uh, I would... <laughs> what, what are you two uh, cooking up? Huh? Uh, tell him, Harry. <laughs> oh, Bob, your sister and I have been talking, and, uh, well, we, we think it's about time you got married. Why? Because I'm beginning to fall apart. <laughs> what? It's getting close to midnight. Harry means, Bob, is that it's later than you think, and you really shouldn't postpone marriage any longer. That's exactly what I meant. <laughs> If this isn't the irony of fate, you telling me to get married when it's because of you I can't. Me? Why? Because the only girl I want, the sweetest, most adorable, most desirable girl in this town, is in love with you. You mean Rosita? Well, I... Oh, Harry, excuse me. I'm talking of Martha. Oh, Martha. Bob, I didn't realize you were in love with Martha. That's the tragedy of the whole thing, Margaret. I didn't realize it either until it was too late. Now she belongs to Harry. Oh, Bob, she, she doesn't... Be good to her, Harry. I will. Be I good will. to my little Martha. I promise. <laughs> and, 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 and the first nice thing I'm going to do, Bob, is let her come back to you. <laughs> the other 
that she'd have me back after what happened last night? No. Of course not. She won't even speak to me again. Well, what did you do last night? It's not what I did, it's what you did. What do you think? Besides, give me. I, I get pretty emotional about that sweet kid. What did you do last night, Harry? Oh, I don't know. What do you... <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? I remember. I remember. Of course you remember. You captured her heart, that's what you did. You made her a prisoner of love. <laughs> now I haven't got a chance. <laughs> well... Gee whiz, Bob, if she's that crazy about changing tires, take my car. <laughs> Harry, if I could just get it through your thick skull. This girl belongs to you. To you, no one else. Oh, I forgot. I invited Martha for lunch. This uh, this may be very embarrassing. You're but... right. I'll go. No, no, no. <laughs> you're going to stay right here because you're going to have your chance now to find out that she's you. I would rather have my coat. No, no. no. <laughs> Mary, right here, listen to every word that's said. No, this one. But at least let me have my coat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now, why so formal? Well, you do not call me anymore. Well, I certainly try, but you're always gone. See, Robertito has been very attentive. Until this morning, he left while I was changing. Yeah, well, he's in there. Eh? Open. Oh, he, he doesn't want those doors opened. Why not? I'm supposed to listen while he talks to Martha. <laughs> We will both listen. Let go oh, of Martha, me! Martha, please! If I'd known you were going to be here, I would have never accepted Margaret's invitation. Oh, hear me out, I beg of you. Let me tell you what is in my heart. Well, all right. Get it off your chest. What do you want to say? Worship you. And I adore you. Eh! <laughs> oh, radiant, ravishing Martha. The sun pales into insignificance when you appear. The flowers hang their heads in shame. The birds hide their plumage because none can match the brilliant beauty of the incomparable Martha. My love, my life, my everything. <laughs> uh, 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 you probably say that to every girl. <laughs> I've never said it to a girl before, and meant it. Well, uh, you're too late, Buster. My heart belongs to Harry Bonzel. I want to marry you. Yeah, well, there's only one man that I'll ever marry, and that's Harry. But... <laughs> oh, my, my tortured brain. Oh, my bleeding heart. Oh, my... Excuse me, where is Ferris? Just a short drive in the country on I-45, 18 minutes south of downtown Dallas. What is Ferris known for? Ferris is the home of Ward Ford. Ward Ford? Yes, Ward Ford, the dealership where you get fair deals from friendly people, where you get service after the sale, and where you're treated like a person, not a number. Where is Ferris? Eight miles south of LBJ 635 on I-45, right next to Ward Ford. Sunday night at 6 on TV 39's Western Theater. Dana Andrews and Susan Hayward star in Canyon Passage. Over here, Bray. Over here. Time to put out the light, Bray. Canyon Passage, Sunday night at 6 on TV 39's Western Theater. 
Here's something that's important to know about taking medication. Alcohol can distort medicines and prevent them from helping or even react with them to seriously damage your health. So if you take a medication, let it give you the help it's designed to give. Don't drink alcohol as long as you're taking medication. This is a reminder from the National Citizens Commission on Alcoholism. Where's the key to that door? Well, it's the locksmith getting a duplicate made. Oh, no. What happened? Oh, nothing. Rosita clobbered me over the head with the heel of her shoe. Here, help me put this desk in front of the door. If that Spanish Spitfire gets... <laughs> it, it worked, Schultz. It worked. She's here. You see that? She's here. Oh, my plan worked. Oh, yeah. Get, get the candid camera, Schultz. Oh, my goodness. You see, you see, I planned this whole scene ju just to get that look of anger. Well, you got yeah, it. Yeah, get the camera. <laughs> Don't change it. Don't change it. You see that fire in your eyes there? Well, that, that's what I want on film. Here you are, boss. Yeah, fine. No, I want... <laughs> No, 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 don't take the gun. I'll kill you anyway. Well, that's it. Furious, furious, be furious. I'll stab you with a stiletto. Oh, yes, that's wonderful. I'll have you bitten by a tarantula. Oh, that's beautiful. I'll run my car over you. Yeah, that's sensational. I will drown you in the ocean. Oh, terrific. I will poison you. Good, good. And then I will kill you. Wonderful. <laughs> come on, come on, give it to me. No, no, not the shoe. means in Spanish. <laughs> Margaret, Margaret, honey, uh, are Harry and, and Mark still there? I talked him into staying for lunch, but they're almost finished. Oh, good. Now, look, you tell her to keep him entertained until I get there. What do you mean, how? Look, she was in show business. Tell her to sing songs and tell jokes. I don't care. Yeah, okay, I'm on my way. Bye. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but well, she's all yours, Shilty. Thanks. Yeah, and when she cools down, just, just get rid of her. <laughs> Any other assignments, like fighting a bull? Oh, you meant... Oh, Shilty, I have complete confidence in your ability to handle any situation, no matter how serious. <laughs> yes, your, your resourcefulness, your ingenuity, your amazing inventiveness... All right, make... I give up. I can't fight that much bull. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, where you are mine. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, oh, of course, I, I could do much better with a cup of it. Yeah. Well, naturally. Yeah. <laughs> hey, St. Margaret, have you got a ukulele? Doesn't everyone? <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Martha, I had no idea that you could handle a song like that. Oh, I started in show business when I was three years old. Oh, now, now you're kidding. <laughs> no, no, really. They used to call me Baby Rose Martha. Don't tell me that you were Baby Rose Martha. Yeah, till I was 30. Uh, <laughs> I think I've got the greatest idea. What? Well, George Burns is opening at the Sahara in Las Vegas. Now, if you and I can work up a good enough act, he might let us appear with his show. Whoa, what an opportunity! We can try. Oh, that would be just great. We can try. Oh, gee, this been... is in tune. Alfred Apaka gave it to Bob. That's a ukulele? This is a full uke. I've got one just like it. Margaret, it, Margaret, Harry and I are going to appear at the Sahara Hotel in Las Vegas, and guess who's going to be on the bill with us? Ooh. George Burns. Well, this girl has been in show business a long time. <laughs> See, Martha, can we, we try that song that you just did, uh, you know, as a duet? Oh, I, I think I can handle it sure. here. I'll do Go a little ahead. band. A rumpy dee dumpy dum are you my baby? Are you my baby? Or are you playing the you field? Play if you're my baby, if you're my baby. When will your heart start to yield? You got me bothered. You got me bothered. You keep me up, up in a tree. tree. I don't know what has happened to me. Are you my honey? Are you my honey? Don't you have something to say? Something to say. It isn't funny. It isn't funny. When you are acting, you this, are way, acting this way, I've been a dither. You are acting this way, I've been a dither. Don't know my head. My toes. Is that the way that love always goes? My turn now. It's not the first time, but it's the last time.
that I would ever let myself go into a flurry with all this worry. Oh, how can my heart stay all in one part? I just gotta know, are you my baby? Don't hold me off anymore, don't answer, maybe. Say I'm the one you adore, then someday, baby. Why, everything will be fine. That is my baby, baby. That is my baby, baby. That is my baby when you are mine. I'm the happiest girl in the whole world. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love everybody. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Margaret, come on, come on. Oh, there's so many things to do before we leave. Wait, 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 wait. You, you and Margaret? No, 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 me and Harry. Uh, Harry and me. Well, where, where are you going? Las Vegas. <laughs> no. Four glorious weeks. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. Oh, you heard the news? Yeah, well, when is the... Come on, come on, come on. Now, you gotta help me shop for a new dress. Yeah. Come on. No, hold it, hold it. Where, where is Harry? He's in the hall making a phone call. Oh, we'll no. see you later. Yeah, Bye. Yeah. Have a... Have, oh, say, kids, look. My, my keys are in the car. Just move it. Swell, I'll, I'll drop by George's office then and have a talk with him. Yeah, bye. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited, see? <laughs> My goodness, you certainly are, aren't I'm you? very excited. Oh, Harry, congratulations. <laughs> oh, Martha told you the news. Ma huh? yeah, well, say, listen. You know, you, you weren't so excited uh, about Martha when, when, I, when I first talked to you. When did, when did you change your mind? Well, when I heard her sing and tell jokes. That was my idea. Oh, no, Bob, I'm so grateful to you. I don't know how to thank you. Oh, it's nothing here. You just be good little Martha Treater Wright and name the first one after me. <laughs> <laughs> the first one. <laughs> oh, Harry, the first one. I'm going to have to have a talk with you. <laughs> well, I won't be rushed right oh, now. I've got yeah. a million oh, things sure. to do. Well, you, you run. Oh, wait a minute. When do you and Martha leave for Las Vegas? Well, as soon as George Burns gives us the OK. So long, Bob. <laughs> Excuse me. You mean to say that, that George Burns has to okay this? Well, of course. He's my boss. Oh, I'm sure he'll like Martha all right. And if he doesn't? Well, then she'll stay here and I'll go to Las Vegas without her. <laughs> you could go alone. No, George will probably pick out somebody else for me. And, and you'd go with her no matter who she is or what she looks like? Well, I'd, I'd have to. <laughs> Boy, what a contract he's got. <laughs> Well, after all, it's, it's his show we're appearing in. Harry, don't you? His show. I thought Martha told you, Bob. George is opening at Las Vegas, and we're doing an act. In so long, Harry. Mm -hmm. I say, so long, Harry. Well, so long, Bob. <laughs> well, Shilton, I see you got Rosita out of the studio. Not only that, I'm getting her out of town. How? Well, I read that George Burns is opening at the Sahara and he's looking for acts. So That's... I phoned him about Rosita and they're having an audition right here at 3 o'clock. She's happy, Mr. Burns is happy, I'm happy, you're... You're not happy, Bob. <laughs> Harry and Martha are going to be in George Burns' show, too. With Rosita? Yes. Oh, she'll break him up in no time. You're telling me. Well, I just resigned as a genius. Oh. <laughs> I know how to get your status back. Now, listen to me. George, it's wonderful seeing you. <laughs> I'll sit right down here and make yourself at home. Oh, uh, Rosita, George Burns is here. Are you ready to uh, audition your Spanish number for him? <laughs> well, dazzle him, my little firebrand. <laughs> Nervous in front of you, George. Olé! <laughs> uh, she ought to go to Arthur Murray's for about two years. 
I miss an opportunity like this to audition for Senor Burns. Uh, I think by now Senor Burns has changed his mind about having a Spanish dancer at Las Vegas. Oh, why? That's show business. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The break should be ready by now. <laughs> oh, Senor Burns. Who is she? Rosita. Oh, no, 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 no. I am Rosita. Why, why you say imposter? That's nice, but I like her better. I can get more laughs with her. <laughs> this is my secretary, Schultze. I know, but I can use it. You see, Bob, uh, Gracie's retired. Act or fiction, car shoppers get better deals in the country. It's a fact. Chevys do cost less when you buy your new car or truck from Hubbard Chevy Country in Ferris. Hubbard Chevy Country is family owned and operated and prides itself on dependable performance and reliable service after the sale. Plus, low overhead allows Hubbard to sell cars and trucks at affordable country prices. Drive out to the most conveniently located Chevy dealership in the Metroplex, Hubbard Chevy Country, five minutes south of LBJ 635 on I-45 in Ferris. This year, Time Magazine didn't pick a person of the year, it picked the planet of the year, our planet Earth. Hi, I'm Karen Hoyer, and on DFW Weekly, we'll talk about why our planet is on the endangered list. You can start by blaming it on our selfish ways and carelessness. We produce so many byproducts that we can't get rid of it all. When we produce toxic waste, we don't always use safe ways to get rid of it. We live for today and don't think about tomorrow. Watch Saturday or Sunday morning at 6. The part of Bert Gravel was played by Lawrence Dobkin, Elvia Montague by Elvia Allman, Betsy Niemeyer by Marjorie Bennett, Natasha by Sylvia Lewis, Daphne by Larry Thomas, Evelyn Engel by Jean Willis, and Tammy Johnson by Tammy Maryhew. Blurs by Furman's of Beverly Hills. This is Bill Baldwin speaking. The source of family entertainment, KXTX TV 39. It's so easy to think of our planet Earth as lasting forever. Scientists say it'll be around for another four to five billion. Father, whose heart overflows with love for every one of his children. Jesus has promised that our Father in heaven will do good things for those who ask. Try it out. Jesus says, ask and it will be given you, seek and you will find, knock and it will be opened to you.